this is your girl Mizuki and welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be doing a cool review between three watercolor markers so I know I've started with um, one of my first sets that I bought from Jerry paint fly shop and I think in Jersey <clears throat> I got them at New York Comic Con and then the other two I got them from wish now I want to actually do a comparison between the three markers to see if it's even worth it getting this one uh, the really expensive one that I got for the first time to the really cheap ones that I got from wish so I'm gonna actually show you the markers uh, the first one I'm gonna be showing you is this one this is from wish it's a watercolor brush pen set this is a set of 20 so it comes with a variety of colors so um, I definitely did recommend this marker set in one of my videos with the marker review from wish the next one from wish I got is this one it is a 24 set this is uh, this comes with two tips and then the next one is this one I got from a store. So this is uh, my first watercolor marker set. So before I show you like these videos that I did between all these three markers, these three sets of markers, I'm gonna show you swatches. All right, so here are the swatches. I'm not gonna actually do them live because that'll take forever and a day. Uh, so the first one uh, we're gonna do is touch 10 watercolor brush that's what it says on the marker so this is what it looks like right here it comes in a 20 set so let me grab a nice cool color which is here's what this is what it looks like i would have to say that the packaging is very cheap you know if you sit on it you probably fucking break it <laughs> but yeah so here it is it has one tip not double-sided really cool now the only thing I do not like about this is the brush tip is very flimsy like you can't really color anything in unless you like really want to go in there and just ruin the tip of the brush. It's very 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 fragile. I'm not I wasn't really happy when I first reviewed it but then when I saw what it did with the um, watercolor brush marker pen thingy it was amazing. For that this is on the top very vibrant as you can see the colors the range is amazing now i put the swatch just dry and then i added the water here the next marker set i did receive from wish i completely forgot how much it was but i'm gonna put the information right here like i always do on all my items uh, I'm gonna show you a cool D marker. I'm gonna actually show you the marker. So this is how it comes. Uh, I know I did a review on it. It comes with two tips: the brush tip and then the uh, fine tip over here. This is the swatches for this set right here. This is called Aqua Real, and these are all the cool sets here. The cool swatches. Now, you, as you can see from the first one, this one has more colors definitely I think I said 24 colors but as you can see with the uh, watercolor marks they're really cool too this one is sign pen brush flexible point now this one runs uh, $21 on Amazon like I said I, I don't know how much I got them for but I think this is the most expensive one that I've purchased out of the total three marker sets uh, that I received and uh, so this are the colors they have a purple a pink orange blue etc here so let me show you the tip now when they say flexible points the joint is very flexible the the tip of it is very flexible so it actually bends back and forth which is really cool like a calligraphy kind of a uh, tip you can definitely do this with this marker now you could use the cool thing about this one is you can use it in multiple ways you can actually have a you can use it like a regular marker you can color in whatever if you don't want to use the watercolor effect on the marker so you can definitely use that and you can actually use it with the watercolor effect so you can have a cool effect on that now the only negative thing about this one I would have to say is uh, the limit of colors. I personally like to have a whole bunch of colors in my marker set, especially if it's watercolor, you know, you want to have different ranges of uh, pastels to really hardcore reds and yeah. So this one doesn't really do it for me, uh, but uh, I do love the colors. I know definitely vibrant colors between the pink, the blues, the greens. You're going to see the swatches that I'm going to be. So here are the swatches for that one. So this is the sign pen brush. So as you can see here, I showed you the really thin 
to the thick to like the cool calligraphy you can definitely use it by bending the tip uh, and then the watercolor so all these right here from this set are all down here so these are the colors all right take a little moment and look at this awesomeness compared to the other ones I really like this uh, watercolor brush pen set uh, it has no name but I feel like there's m more ink in here even though the, the other one is small I really like this one it comes out better than the first watercolor set I received R the watercolor marker set So the next marker we're going to use is the Aquaril brush. This is also another one that I purchased from um, Wish. I think so far, I would have to say these are my favorite one. Because brush is stiffer than the last one and it also has enough color. And I think the colors are vibrant as well. Oh, you guys have a really good question for me out of all three sets of watercolor markers which one do I think is the best to tell you the truth all of them do what you want them to do I have no negative things that are harsh on these markers as you can see in the video they really do the same thing the only thing is that I would have to say about the last one is that there wasn't that many colors so this one was the aquarill as you can see it's pretty cool lovely 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 color i definitely like this one but if you go to the next one this one is the uh touch 10 marker same thing lovely pastel colors it did what it had to do and then the last one which is the one that i bought from jerry's uh art supply store i didn't use that many colors but they do have some colors that i missed out in here but they do the same thing uh, i would have to say i would rate them all equally other than the colors you definitely want to get the watercolor set that has more color in it because then you don't have to mix them colors just to create it. So I hope you guys like this video. It's a cool first time ever I did a comparison between 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 the three uh, marker watercolor markers. And I would have to say it was a success. I definitely recommend all of them. So if you guys want to go over the links are in the bottom below on Amazon and Wish. And I think you can buy the other sets on Amazon as well. I'm going to look them up for you and leave the link below. But if you do like this video, please like and subscribe.
and go follow all my other social media right below and yeah oh and i want to give a good shout out to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers for getting my video on what's uh on my wish haul uh, up to 100k it's actually my first video to actually go up to 100k and yeah so i love you guys all right zuki out